getting out? Yes, we're getting out. What I wanted everyone to really do is get in a position where you feel like you don't feel threatened to get choked yet. You're not panicking like, oh my God, oh my God, okay? Now, we, we didn't even use our hands yet. Like, that's great. Like we, we did all this body positional work to not get choked and didn't even use our hands. Let's use our hands, okay? How I usually use my hands in the gi, the hand that's choking you, I grab some gi above the elbow, anything I can get, and I pull down on it. Immediately, it takes the arm away from my neck, okay? This hand, I usually kind of put my thumb into the wrist and just kind of wedge it in there and I kind of grab, right? You can kind of keep your grip there. I'm just here, okay? So thumb in and here. I'm really focused on the choking arm, okay? Point my knees and I get to here. We had the question of like, what do I do with my legs? Well, eventually I'm just gonna start like hipping and walking like a clock, like this, right? I'm, I'm facing straight up. The hand that's up here, that's not worrying so much about this choking arm, I can use it to start peeling off the top hook. The bottom hook is effectively killed because I'm laying on it, okay? I just walked like a clock, so I started, I visualize I'm at like six o'clock, seven, eight, 30 maybe, and I try it into them. <clears throat> I'm in a nice reverse side, uh, side control. The harder your opponent holds on to you, the worse that feels. It's like you're like rolling, pinning the dough of their lungs right out of their chest. Okay? <sighs> you stabbed me and sunk the knife deep into my heart. I better protect my neck, beginners. <clears throat> Point my knees and I fall. I get my head up. I'm engaged with these toes and my arm is up now. I gotta keep twisting, corkscrewing my hips facing up and walking out. That effectively kills that bottom hook. This hand now can grab the gi at the knee and get it off of me. I walk to like 8.30 and then I drive into them. It's so satisfying to have, you'll hear them go Ugh! right? It's so good. And again, it's the harder they hold on, the more of the eh. If you don't want to get squished, let go. Okay? No. Are you putting all the pressure at the, like, at the, on, on this bottom leg? Good question. So uh, the word pressure. What I like to think about doing is I'm dead weight. I'm very relaxed. I always tell beginners when they're rolling with their opponents, think of yourself as a half-filled waterbed. I'm just like, lay on, like, lay on things, right? So I'm protecting my neck. As soon as I kind of fall here, the only thing that's engaged are these toes. Everything else is very much relaxed. I'm like, I'm like, it's like a blob. Right here, as soon as I feel that fall off, I'm like, uh, and I have my whole dead weight laying on his leg until I start walking my hips out. I slide off of it and I slide in. I drive in with my toes, okay? It's a lot of toe work and driving your hips but your torso should be relatively relaxed. Preet calls it jujitsu. Because it's bad, it sounds very like exotic and like relaxed. It's not like jujitsu, where you're like, oh, I'm like, gonna smash. No, no, it's very relaxed. You should be very relaxed when you're doing this. If you find you're tense and you're panicked, you're not doing it right. So practice breathing and be very relaxed when you're doing this maneuver, right? Get with your partner, I'll come around to help, all right? We got one more after this. 